Between 10 and 20% of Canadian children will experience a serious anxiety disorder before they reach adulthood, and 1% of kids will experience obsessive compulsive disorder before the age of 15. Registered psychologist Candice Limoges is here to talk more about childhood, uh, childhood anxiety. Rather, Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about childhood anxiety, what it is, is it the same as stress? Right, yeah, and so although anxiety and stress are certainly related, they're not exactly the same thing. Uh, and so anxiety can be a really painful experience for, uh, experience for people. So uh, what we think about when we think about people who are suffering from anxiety is that they're excessively worried most of the time and they're apprehensive um, going into most days and they have a hard time functioning. They um, worry and have a hard time managing and controlling that and so they have a hard time getting to work or school. Um, they often have a hard time falling asleep or staying asleep. They can be quite irritable and easily fatigued because their mind is going all of the time. Uh, and so yeah, we look for those things with children or teens if, if we're worried that they're struggling. And it could be difficult in a school setting as well for kids dealing with anxiety. So what causes it? What are the triggers for yeah, kids? Yeah, so um, life is hard and stressful, especially for kids and teens. They're going through a lot and uh, the return to the school year or uh, transitions between grades and classrooms, um, school breaks or long weekends can can bring about anxiety but there's different pressures and different expectations between um, peers and teachers and home life and so what we really want parents to know is there's a difference when kids are going through uh, healthy pressure versus unhealthy stress healthy pressure um, although it's not very pleasant for kids and teens um, can be a motivating force and so it can help them be focused and flexible and creative um, and it can help them get things done, whereas unhealthy stress can be really paralyzing for them. And that's where we start to see an inability or real difficulty and struggle to uh, function in day-to-day -day life. So getting to school or extracurricular activities or social engagements. So, so I guess the key is to pinpoint if it is one or the other. Right. And then you have to talk about how to manage it. What yeah. Do, how do the children manage it and then what do parents do to help exactly. them? Yeah, and so what we want parents to really understand is resolving your child's stressors isn't the best way to manage anxiety. Parents often want to use their life experience to um, solve their kids' problems, but jumping to solutions can actually cause more pressure and anxiety for kids. So what we want parents to know is that the best way to manage anxiety is to teach kids to balance their stressors with taking care of themselves. And parents can do this by having an open conversation where they're compassionate and relaxed and help their kids understand their feelings uh, as well as what's making them anxious and help their kids talk and gain some appropriate coping strategies. That's a good tip for parents because they just want to jump in and help it's and do everything exactly. they can to help their yeah. kids and keep them safe. That's yes. our time for today. Thanks so much for your insight today. Uh, you can get more information at wholeservices.ca. You can also pick up the latest edition of Calgary's Child Magazine. It is on stands at various places throughout the city. You can also like them on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. 819 now, still much more news, weather and traffic. On the morning news, stay with us.